This is the 2019 Toyota Corolla Hatchback XSE. And in my opinion, this is the best budget car money can buy you right now. I'll get into why here shortly, but first, let me say thank you to Sean Lang and everyone over at Peterson Toyota for letting me borrow this brand new car to bring you this review video. If you have any interest in this car or any car that Peterson has, please contact Sean Lang, call the dealership directly and ask for Sean. Make sure they know I sent you. So why would I deem this to be the best car that money can buy you right now? To an extent, obviously, in the budget range. This car, well, first of all, look at it. You can't look at that car and tell me that that doesn't look good. The first time I saw one of these, I knew I liked it a lot, mostly because this roof spoiler here gives my Fiesta ST spoiler envy. And look at these factory 18 inch wheels. And what do we see right here, stance boys? What do we see here? Looks like a little bit of stretch to me, boys, from the factory. Stretched 18s. You already want one, I can tell, but we can just look at the rest of the car. Just the aggressive styling that Toyota has been putting into things lately. Someone told me the front end looked a little Prius-y. Now I'm gonna make you really mad because the new Prius looks awesome, all right? It's still a Prius. I still wouldn't touch one, but it looks cool. And so does this car, just the flowing body lines. It's so aggressive yet friendly at the same time. I cannot get over how much I like this car. The interior in this car is insane for how cheap it is. The second I opened the door, that was the first thing I said. The materials used, the leather, the stitching on the dash, everything looks so good. And it's hard not to want to compare it to my Fiesta ST because it's the only other new car I've really had intimate contact with. And the Fiesta's interior sucks compared to this. It has this amazing all digital dash. So when you press the start button, shows you a nice little movie about how you're driving a Corolla. The speedometer comes up and then the other gauges fade in from the sides. It also on major roads tells you the speed limit in the top left corner over the speedometer. Next we have this eight inch touch screen. Missy Elliott, anyone? It has Bluetooth, it has Apple CarPlay. I don't know if it has Android Auto. If it doesn't, I'd be a little bit upset. Moving on, we have dual climate control in this small of a car. Maybe not necessary, but appreciated. The seats are heated standard. And just look at this finish on the dash. I'm not in love with the white, gray, tan thing. I would make it insanely dirty, insanely fast but just look at it. This is, this is a cheap car. This is insane to me. The steering wheel feels incredible and the seats have just the right amount of bolstering where you can take it on a nice long road trip and it's not gonna get old. So I'm gonna do a leg room test real quick. Keep in mind that I am six foot three, 220 pounds, and that is in my driving position. So, It's actually pretty tolerable. I don't know if I'd want to be in here for like an eight or 10 hour drive, but uh, even with the door closed, the window's not down, so you're not gonna be able to hear me, but if, if you man spread a little bit, you're doing okay. And in all fairness, I could scoot the seat up a little bit up front and still have more room, but it is surprisingly roomy back here for this small of a car. Now, the equipment that this car comes with standard is insane. That's because of a little thing called Toyota Safety Sense. There's actually a sticker about it on the window right there that I'm going to read off of and make it look like I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. So for one, it comes standard with pre... <laughs> it comes with a pre-collision system and pedestrian detection system that's going to stop and automatically break for you when presented with an accident scenario where it recognizes that that's about to happen. It's got automatic high beams. It's got lane departure warning. It comes standard with a backup camera. It's got road sign assist. I don't even know what that means, but it comes with it standard. There's a couple options that the automatic one comes with that this one doesn't have, but we don't need to talk about that because you don't want an automatic. Obviously it's got stability control, traction control, ABS, all the good things that a new car should come standard with, but all the things that come standard in this car is pretty surprising to me when you see the price tag. 
Now this thing is no speed demon. It has a two liter 16 valve inline four cylinder making 168 horsepower and does zero to 60 in about 8.4 seconds. So yes, rejoice Toyota 86 BRZ FRS owners. You're faster than something. What I really appreciate about this engine bay is there's no nonsense, no frill, big plastic cover not letting you see everything. You actually see the engine in the coil packs. They're not hiding anything. 28 city, 37 highway for a combined average of 31 miles per gallon. That's a whole lot of options and a whole lot of car for the price. You get a manual front wheel drive, fairly nimble car with incredible interior and an insane amount of safety features. But how much is it? This one, as delivered, is $24,542 and currently has 27 miles on the odometer. Maybe we should do something about that. So the first complaint I have about it is that it has an electronic parking brake that I keep forgetting about. I put it on when I park it, but uh, I also just noticed that when you're leaving from a stop, if you try and roll with it on, it'll automatically turn it off which is great for leaving it in if you forget, but bad if you want to do burnouts, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to purchase this. This has the Toyota Intelligent manual transmission, which means when you have it in IMT mode, it'll automatically rev match for you when you downshift. We're gonna have to give that a shot because I always rev match my manual cars because it's good on the synchros. And when I say it's good on the synchros, I mean I like to feel like I'm driving a race car all the time. So I'm gonna put it in second gear right now. Oh, what the, that is bizarre. Oh my God. I thought it was, I thought it just like would correct, you tap the gas and it would kind of be like, all right, nice try there kiddo, but here's the RPMs you want. You don't even have to touch the gas, it just does it. Oh my God, that's the weirdest thing ever. All right, we're in fourth right now. I'm gonna go to second. Oh, what the hell? That is the weirdest thing ever, dude. It just automatically rev matches for you. How badass is that? Oh my God, that's nuts, dude. That is insane. We're living in a crazy era. Now this car rides really, really quietly, honestly. There's a little bit of outside noise. There's the mirror showing me that someone's in my blind spot. If someone asked me if they had 20 to $25,000 to spend, they needed a brand new car that was gonna be fun to drive and get good fuel economy, this is right where I would point them. It was actually funny when I was at Fuel Fest in Los Angeles a couple weekends ago, we were talking to Jason of Engineering Explained and we're standing there amongst McLaren Senna's, Koenigsegg Agueras, and all these other multi-million dollar cars, and somehow we got on the conversation of how cool the 2019 Corolla hatchback is. All right, we are turning the AC off. We are on the closed road. Let's see how this thing handles. Now, I already know this has electronic power steering, which is something I was very against until I owned the Fiesta. You know, it's not bad thus far. That's just two corners, I can't really judge it just yet, but even for the power it lacks, it still comes out of corners pretty good. It tends to understeer a little bit, but that road's also always covered in dirt, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. I am kind of short shifting it just because I know everyone says you don't actually have to break in new cars anymore, but like I said, as of now, it only has 36 miles on it, so I'm not gonna take it way up in the RPMs, even though, like I said before, it goes up to almost 7,000 RPM. But we don't need the real high RPMs to enjoy this. Oh my God, actually, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go into this corner, put it in second, and let the car shift for me. Let's see how fast it'll do it, all right? This could be a bigger thing than we think. Oh my God, who needs to heel toe when you can just have the car rev match for you, dude? That is ridiculous. One more time, one more time, ready? Foot's not touching the gas. Oh my God, that is insane. That's pretty cool. I know it's for fuel efficiency, but you could use it for racing if you felt like it. We've already established that this car is not fast, but very fun to drive. Again, it falls into the category like a Miata or an Integra or a Fiesta ST. 
it's not a fast car, but it's a slow car that's fun to drive fast. And obviously with the styling and the interior and all the technology we have in here, Apple CarPlay, we got the intelligent transmission, big touch screen, all digital dash, navigation, obviously it appeals to the younger crowd. But is it family friendly across all ages? What would your grandmother think of this car? Should we go see what grandma thinks of this car? Came over here to Wesley's Garden Lanes where my grandma is watching my cousin bowl a tournament, but nice. the car that this dealership gave me, it's kind of designed very much so with the millennial generation in mind. But I wanted to see what a person of a more esteemed generation will say, <laughs> thinks of it. So let's go check it out. This is the 2019 Toyota Corolla Hatchback. Oh, wow. Ooh, so, I like that. Oh, from Peterson. Yep. Yep, Peterson Toyota. Shout out. I like that color. The color is insane. It's called Galactic Aqua, Whoa. actually. But you can see green and blue. Yeah. So the crazy thing to me about this car is all the stuff that it comes with for the price. Um, you get backup camera, lane departure warnings, auto lane assist. It'll auto brake if you're about to hit a car or even a person. Whoa. It's got a two liter 16 valve, four cylinder, this one is a six-speed manual, so I know that wouldn't be your preference, but there is an automatic <laughs> option. And uh, this particular one gets combined 31 miles per gallon and Whoa. almost 40 on the highway. That's nice. Comes standard with heated seats, too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And the dash? Oh, my. I could be a passenger in here really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can definitely see the uh, the styling cues that make it appealing to someone like me. Yeah. we got the big roof spoiler and 18-inch wheels and all the other things I'd get excited about. So speaking on behalf of all senior citizens, is this something you would buy if it was automatic? If it were automatic and I didn't need a big car, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, it's super nice. Yeah, you could. This could grow on you. <laughs> and you know how much this particular one has a few options. 2019. If you look at the odometer, it has 41 miles on it. Oh wow! This car, brand new, twenty four thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. Well, I think it'd be more than that. Yeah. With all of it. Boy, oh, this is just nifty. <laughs> yeah, it's a good car. Yeah, even old people would like this. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to say old people, you said it, <laughs> not me. Elderly people. <laughs> uh, my name's Shane Harris and I'm 15 years old. So this is my cousin, so now we've had the elderly person's outlook and now we need the teenager person's outlook. So this is the 2019 oh. Toyota Corolla hatchback. XSE, six speed manual, factory 18s. This paint job is Galactic Aqua. Okay. Standard heated leather interior, six-speed manual. Well, the white leather is definitely a little weird. Did you see the hot boy roof spoiler, though? Oh, my God. You're a teenager. You love it. <laughs> this thing is insanely slow. Really? Zero to 60 in about 8.4 seconds. Oh. It's slower than a Toyota 86, actually. My Jeep's which, faster than that. I don't know about that. <laughs> now, what I was really hoping for when they told me I could drive one of these was that they'd have like one of the blue or yellow ones or one of the stupid bright ones. And initially, what he told me was they had a midnight black one. I was like, okay, I mean, I like black cars. I can live with it. But then they gave me this one, the Galactic Aqua paint job. And while I still think I would prefer one of the bright solid colors, just look at this. I just know it's not right Something tells me that it's over You should know I'll see you soon I love you from here to the moon I'll hold you like your favorite casket Alright, so we've proven that well, as my grandma said, old people. She said old people, not me. I was like, I said people of a more esteemed generation. So we've determined that teenagers like it. I like it. I'm a millennial. And my grandma likes it. So now we have my mom. Hey. And the camera doesn't very well go on me and my mom, so I'll just put it on my mom. No! <laughs> Going back to Brayden. Alright, fine. We got a backup camera. I was actually playing chicken with it because I wanted to see if when you get to the red line it starts beeping. And I got to like, not even to the middle blue line when there was a truck behind me. I was like, I'm done now. Cause like, you look out the back window and it looks like you're this far from it. 
But the camera's like, you're good, you're good. You got wheels. Keep going. Nikki's beeped in her traverse. I think this probably will too. I just didn't want to get close enough to find out. This rides a lot better than the Fiesta. People complain about the Fiesta stiff suspension, but it doesn't bother me because you've ridden the Rabbit and my BMW was equally as bad after I put the coilovers on it. The Miata was pretty stiff too. You drove that, right? When it had that suspension, when it was yeah. really low. Oh yeah, because I had to show you how to not high center it going in my driveway. Yeah. All right, mom didn't want to be on camera, so I'm gonna have to get your reactions. <laughs> I don't know if the IMT is doing something when I'm like leaving from a stop, but it kind of feels like it thinks I'm doing it wrong. And it's like, hey, no, 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 let me help you out there, kid. Which is cool if it does, because in an effort to save the manual transmissions, making them easier to drive for dumber people is probably a good call. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come up to this stop, right? I'm gonna go left here. I'm just gonna take it from fourth to second. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake. Watch, I will not put my foot on the gas pedal. It just revs up for you. That's pretty trippy. Okay, we're going 40, put it in second, don't touch the gas. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Revved it up over four grand for yeah. you. I was like talking about how I know that's like a fuel economy thing and to keep the transmission from going bad faster, but you could definitely use that for like track racing. Right. Because you don't have to heel toe it, because I can't anyway, I wear size 15 shoes, it's not <laughs> possible. But you don't even have to, you just put your foot on the brake, foot on the clutch, just slam it in gear and it'll rev match for you. So for $24,000, this is a pretty good deal. But we happen to know a guy who bought another Toyota for $24,000 and even without the discount that he got, some would argue that it'd be worth the extra few thousand dollars on the loan to get one of these. All right, so this is Ross, as you guys are aware, and this is Ross's 2018 Toyota 86. So, I'm gonna take him for a ride in the Corolla, and we're gonna let him decide if it's worth the extra money to buy one of these instead of one of these. Also, I'm gonna let you guys hear what Ross thinks of the car, because nobody cares about my opinion on this channel when <laughs> Ross is around, so. Oh yeah, hold on, we gotta pause for 15 seconds so they can get all the comments about you not having a beard out. Oh yeah, okay, it was for work. Hold on, is that AC? Damn. That is AC. The all digital dash. Is that a real needle? <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like a real needle. Uh, uh, right. Fun fact, actually, when I got it from the dealership, the average fuel economy was 13.3, so I'm doing them a favor by yeah. driving this car. Someone's just revving the piss out of this at the dealership. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably because they drive it like 20 feet and then shut it off. Oh yeah, your foot has to be on the brake, turn the electronic, oh, electronic parking, parking brake parking on. brake. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So I'm gonna turn on IMT mode. All right, we're gonna go out on Fairview. Not this interior, though, I is, love it, dude. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd get this really dirty. That's what I think too. I, I'm not graciously in love with the color. I could live with it. The but exterior color, though. I'm just blown away by the quality of the interior for the price of the car. True. Yeah. I mean. There's minor things that are plastic yeah. that I think could break over time, but... Well, you got that warranty, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready? We're in IMT mode. All right. I'm not going to touch the gas at all. We'll put it in second. What? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's nuts. That's my favorite party trick of this car right now. But, uh, yeah, so we combined fuel economy, 31 miles per gallon. What? Wow. 27 city, 38 highway is what that sticker says. Or huh. 28 City 37 Highway, sorry. I saw up to 38, but I think that might be the CVT model, mm, which okay. obviously you don't want. No. Um, Toyota Safety Sense Standard, so it's got lane departure warnings. It'll automatically stop if you're about to hit a car or a pedestrian. Allegedly, it could go badly like that Volvo video <laughs> where they tried to demo it, and it just <laughs> obliterated the people. That was fun. Um, what else we got going on back there in the Safety Sense? Bro, do you want to read the sticker for me? Oh, true. It says like road traction control. Oh yeah, road sign assistance. I don't know what that means. Huh. Like, is it reading the signs actively and seeing the speed limit? Because, oh, it actually is. 
because we just passed the speed limit sign where you're in a school zone and now it says the speed limit's 20. Oh. So it's not GPS, it is actually scanning the street signs as we pass them. Oh, wow. You talk about blind spot monitors. Oh, yeah. The blind spot monitors and the mirrors. Look at this Mazda 3's got penis envy because of this thing's wing, dude. I think older self would probably choose the Corolla. Yeah. The My current self is like rear wheel drive everything. I don't care about, you know, gas mileage or whatnot so so they're they're fairly on par yeah say. i think this one is still a driver's car oh yeah with eight six like especially with a manual i think any car with a manual is a, more of a driver's car i took it around some corners today and it's pretty nimble hmm. it's not quite fiesta level like G, like 86 Go level but type. yeah but it is a lot more nimble than i thought and I was using the intelligent manual transmission to my advantage. Unfortunately, my time with this hatchback is almost up, but before I returned to the dealership, I had a few questions. Now, every time I do a review, I post on my Instagram story and people can ask me questions that I'll answer in the video. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at BigB1011. Follow me right now. I'm giving away a shirt when we hit 2,500. <laughs> There's a lot of nonsense questions that I'm gonna blatantly ignore, but one of them was my friend Nikolai, who said I'm a similar height to him. I, like I said, I'm 6'3", he's around the same height, he asked how it fits, and this thing is absurdly roomy. Like, I, I don't even have the seat as far back as it will go. There's plenty of room to move. If I had more time, I'd get Cedric in it, because he's like 6'7". Very comfortable for someone of my stature, and as little as my grandma. Seat went up far enough, she was having a good time with it. And another question was if in the rear it has actual amber turn signals, or if it just does the nonsense where it flashes the brake lights. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it does. So once again, I want to say thank you to Peterson Toyota here in Boise, Idaho. They're on the corner of Fairview and Maple Grove for lending me this car for a few hours to make this video. Again, if you're interested in this car or purchasing any Toyota, even if you're not local, you feel like coming for a little trip, they're great people over there. They treat you very nicely. Make sure to hit up Sean Lang and tell him that I sent you. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Overall, this car is cheap really good on gas and super fun to drive. It's definitely something that's in the running to replace the Fiesta because the Fiesta will be going away. If you have any more questions about it, drop them in the comments and let me know what you think of the car and this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. And if you wanna see a picture of your car at the end of the video, send a picture to me at cursedforeverhelp at gmail.com. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.